as you can see, we successfully customize the Zoom Gallery background. So you can change whatever background you want. Here you guys. Today, I'm going to teach you how to customize the Zoom Gallery background using vMix. First, we're going to open the vMix. As you can see, I have already four backgrounds here we're going to use later on. Next, we're going to open our Zoom. And then, let's join to the conference 555-150-2000. Click Join Meeting. Okay, let's just wait for a while and then join with video. So, there it is. Now, let's go into capture this Zoom Gallery in our vMix. Okay, let's go back to our vMix and click Add Input. Okay, now, go to NDI Desktop Capture and then Local Desktop Capture. And then click the Zoom Meetings. Click OK. This is the one. As you can see, it is only blank, white background only. So we cannot capture the Zoom gallery. So what we're going to do is to configure our Zoom for us to capture it in the vMix. Okay, let's just close this one first. Then let's go back to our Zoom. Okay, so go to the camera icon. Click this one, the arrow up, and then go to video settings. Now, go to the video and then go to advanced. Click this one. Then, as you can see, video rendering method. Click this one. You change it from the auto to GDI. So, changes will take effect after you restart Zoom. So, we should restart Zoom. We just change from the auto to GDI. Okay? Then, let's going to restart our Zoom. We're going to close this one. And then, leave meeting. Even here, in the system tray, we close this one. Right click and click exit. Now, let's open again our Zoom to take effect the changes that we have made. Now, this is our Zoom. So, let's go into join again with the meeting. The meeting ID 555-150-2000. And then click join. Okay, let's just wait. Now, join with video. This is now the gallery. So we're going to try if uh, we can capture this one into our vMix because the first we tried is we cannot capture it. It is just only blank. Let's go into try it and then let's go to our vMix. Click the vMix, add input, then NDI slash desktop capture and then go to local desktop capture. Okay. And then go to Zoom Meetings. Click OK. As you can see, we already capture our Zoom gallery into our vMix. We just changed it from Auto to GDI. Now, we're going to configure this one. Go to Position. Go to the X to remove this one. And then X2. We're going to remove all the sides. Just remove it. Okay, at least we can remove all the blocks. Now, we're going to make it bigger a little bit. Zoom. At least it will fit to the window to make it at least presentable. Okay? So, and then... Okay, guys, this is very important. We should open our vMix and our Zoom in one computer. And we're going to capture the Zoom in the same computer wherein we open the vMix. If you are going to capture the zoom in the other computer using the NDI, so the result will be not as good as we did right now. Okay? Now, this one. Go to the color key. Click this one and then go to the dropper. Now, so you can see the dropper, this one. You click this dropper into the black surface of the zoom gallery okay click this one 
as you can see the background becomes transparent okay and then click close okay now see we're going to click overlay on this one as you can see we successfully customize the zoom gallery background so you can change whatever background you want if you want the space just change the background okay so it becomes a space or this one the beach if you want so click fade oh, see the background becomes a beach this is much more neat compared to the black background of the zoom the default background of the zoom is black so we can customize it by using vmix as you can see we successfully changed it it's very neat very clean and very presentable okay so if you learned something from this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much